Is there anything more durable than just a standard sheet of notebook paper or maybe a post-it note, but not as expensive as a metal backup such as this, which typically will only actually support the backup of the first four characters of each seed phrase, which is a little bit of an annoyance. There are other options, and I'm here to talk to you about one of them now. The other option that I'm talking about comes in a package like this one. And what we have inside is a stone book. So I'm going to go ahead and open mine and show you what it actually is. Here is what the stone book looks like. It's a notebook, but it's a notebook purpose built for storing your crypto recovery phrases. And it is more durable than just a standard notebook. And it should be more durable given its use case and its price point. It's not super expensive. It's $35 currently at Shield Folio's website. It's also available on Amazon for, I believe, $40. And according to their website, it's normally $45 although I've checked this multiple times and I haven't actually seen it on their website for more than $35, but that's not to say that the price won't change. And looking at their website, you'll see that they talk about being able to back up 50 crypto wallets or more for the price of just one metal backup. And that's if you buy a cheaper metal backup, because there's metal backup solutions that are over $100 just to back up one wallet. This one is in the $30 to $40 price range. But you'll see, you know, they say that it's water resistant, it's tear resistant, it's safe from hackers because it's not electronic, it's not online. Doesn't mean that it's safe from theft, but you can't hack it. And it's an 80 page artisan grade stone paper notebook. They recommend using a ballpoint pen. In fact, they do send you a ballpoint pen. It appears to just simply be your basic ballpoint pen, nothing special special about it. However, Shield Folio also does make a ghost pen for invisible ink, which it's just a pen with a UV light on one end and a pen on the other, which writes in ink that you can't really see with the naked eye. But when you illuminate it with a UV light or a black light, you'll be able to actually see what's been written down. And here is an example of that. And the pen's $15. And just from some of the reviews that I've read, I have not purchased the ghost pen. I have not used the ghost pen. But just from some reviews that I've read, a lot of people like it. But there are some comments about the there's not a lot of ink. So you probably aren't going to be able to back up dozens of wallets in invisible ink using just one ghost pen because you might run out of ink before or you back up, you know, 30 or 40 wallets. Okay, so just to give you a quick run through as to what's actually inside the notebook, it does have pages for note taking. It has pages for writing down login information further in. So like right here, it also has pages for, of course, backing up wallet seed phrases further into the notebook. If we can eventually, there we go. We have recovery phrases that can be recorded. There's also further down into the notebook, there are places where you can actually write down private keys if you want to. There's also places for other style of uh, recovery phrase backups. And so it definitely has a fair amount of use offered. And also the quality of this, like just how it feels in the hand, it feels like a quality product. And the pages, they definitely don't feel like typical paper, which you wouldn't expect to, you know, if they're tear resistant and water resistant and all of that fun stuff. To go along with a product like the Stone Book, I would recommend, you know, especially if you're not going to get the ghost pen, which might be pretty useful or it might be kind of gimmicky. My first concern would be, and I haven't I haven't actually really looked into this, but my first concern would be like, what is it actually using to mark the page? And what kind of longevity does that have? So to that point, I actually bought a set of archival pens. And you'll notice that on the label right down here, it talks about archival ink. And so I would use pens that are archival ink, also sometimes referred to as 
pigmented ink. Because if you write something down and then five years, 10 years, 12 years go by, you know, if you ever looked at an old piece of paper, a lot of times you'll see that the ink is fading. If you use something that is meant for archival purposes, such as something that uses pigmented ink, for instance, it won't have those kinds of problems so much. You know, it stands up to the test of time better because the entire purpose is to last a long time. The other thing that I would suggest is getting yourself some type of firebox or safe. Personally, I bought a Century Safe for about $70, and to be very, very clear, it is not for anti-theft. In fact, if you go over to the Lock Picking Lawyer's YouTube channel, he shows defeating all kinds of locks, including Century Safes, even more expensive Century Safes that have electronic locks and all sorts of fancy-looking things. And in many cases, he uses very low-tech, very simple ways of defeating them, including just using a circular saw and just cutting the so-called safe completely in half, no problem. And so it's not for protecting the stone book from theft. It's for helping to protect it from fire damage and also further pro help protect from water damage, as well as the fact that it's a closed container and therefore it's not going to allow the stone book to be constantly hit by any type of light, which also helps to preserve it over the years. And the other thing that's really nice about having something like a firebox is that at that point, you can go ahead and put other important documents in it, right? So you can put your birth certificate, your social security card, the deed to your house, the title to your car, etc. right? So various important documents you can just go ahead and throw right in there, right along with something like your stone book. And really, I would possibly go ahead and put my metal backups in there as well, just to keep all of my really important things in one spot. Now, depending on how much money is represented by the crypto in the wallet that you have the recovery phrases backed up to metal, you might even just go ahead and pay for a safety deposit box at a bank or find some other more secure way of protecting this rather than just tossing into something like a century safe, which as already discussed, is not going to provide hardly any protection at all as far as theft. At best, you might keep like your five-year-old child from getting into your important documents and messing around with them. Something like the stone book is great in terms of having something that's more cost effective than metal backup to back up your wallets. And it's it's really more than that. It's, you know, if you're going to be farming airdrops, if you're going to be posting your, your wallet addresses anywhere publicly, I wouldn't recommend doing that with your one and only wallet or your main wallet for security reasons. And if you're going to have a bunch of different wallets, it gets really expensive really quickly if you're going to try to get a metal backup for every one of them. You know, imagine you had 10 wallets and you buy even just a $40 metal backup for each one of them. You're looking at $400 plus tax plus potentially plus shipping. Or you could get something like a stone book. And if you're going to maybe set up a phantom wallet to do some airdrop farming on the Solana ecosystem, but you're only throwing, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars in, into that wallet, is that really something? Something that you want to back up using a expensive metal backup when you could just use the stone book for that. Because in my opinion, even burner wallets or, you know, throwaway wallets, so to speak, that you use for the purposes described, you should still have a seed phrase backup of just in case. Because even if it is $20, $50, $200, is it not worth $35, $40 on something like a stone book? so that you can write it down, keep it in one place with all of your other wallet seed phrase backups. And there are people that just simply, you know, write it down on a sheet of paper, which that's an option, you can do that. I don't think that that's particularly smart, but it is an option. 